Back now with a goodbye message from the outgoing mayor of the city of Suffolk. Her departure at the end of the year, leaving the seven cities with only men holding the top office. Also an all-male Suffolk City Council. Penny Your Side's Brett Hall says in her final meeting, she wanted to make clear that that should not be the future. After two decades on city council and 14 years as mayor, this was Linda Johnson's final meeting. Tonight, she recalls she never thought there'd be a first. I never intended to do this. I was going to go to college and I was going to get a degree and I was going to be a news reporter. Well, needless to say, that didn't happen. In the 70s, they didn't hire women, basically, and my competition beat me out. So that, that didn't work out. Instead, it would be news reporters who covered her as she became the first female and first citywide elected mayor. Leading Suffolk through difficult times, such as when tornadoes led to more than 200 injuries and massive damage in 2008, but also better times, such as just earlier this year, when the city landed what will be one of the largest Amazon facilities on the East Coast. Suffolk's a pretty darn great place to be, and I will always have my heart right here. She recently lost her re-election bid to current council member and mayor-elect Mike Duman, but that's not what she thinks of when she thinks of disappointment. The only, the only disappointment I have is that when I leave here tonight, there is not a woman on this council. She says by now she really thought there would have been more. I may have been the first, but I truly know I will not be the last. And I want women to know that they deserve to sit here. They deserve to have a part in their government. It's a call to action. I just say to every little girl sitting out there, know you can do it and do it. She says she'll be watching. Tonight was also Councilman Curtis Miltier's last night on council. After nearly 40 years, he'll be 90 years old next year. He says it's time for him to go. Colleagues gave high praise to both. Brett Hall, 10 on your side.